Welcome to Good Mythical More. Here we are hanging out in this place that we have not abandoned. We have not abandoned it. But we're talking about destinations that are abandoned. And some of them can be fake. So others can be real. And when they're real, our minds will be blown. And when they're fake, we'll be like, I knew it! I knew it couldn't be real! That's exactly how it's gonna go. I like looking at abandoned um, places um. on like, uh, uh, Instagram. Just call that ruin porn. Yeah, that's what I watch. Uh, Merchicality. We land on this. We give somebody thirty dollars to spend over at mythical. Oh, wow. How generous of us! Uh, because they're repping that mythical merch in the wild. This can buy some keychains. Out to Mackenzie Mills. Mackenzie, you've done it again. Look at you. Wow, just doing it. Rep merch, get merch. There it is. Oh, it was the color changing mug. Yes, it was. Congratulations. Spend that $30 wisely. McKinsey drinking some tea. All right, so we got our paddles. We're ready to go. Don't, don't you lie to me. It's your birthday. How much do you know about abandoned mm, places? Boises? Places. Mm, places. Well, if you go into an abandoned house like I look in, at them on in, Instagram in North Carolina and like next to a field, Someone will have taken a full wall and drawn a really like anatomically incorrect, very explicit woman. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say penis. No, actually, it's much less likely to see that. Hmm. It's much more likely to see someone's approximation of a tunnel. Well, of we'll love skip round one then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Yeah, we saw that. Um, Next to my nanny's house, there was an abandoned house with murals. Hob Hobbiton. Educational. Hobbiton in Phillipsville, California. Erected sometime in the mid-1970s, Hobbiton, USA, attempted to grab onto the then ascendant popularity of Tolkien's fantasy novels. Mm. It was originally a short nature walk that took visitors through the story of The Hobbit cool. via cement tableaus of key scenes and characters. But today, all that remains... Of the attraction are a sparse bit of faded ruins. I'm gonna go with Hobbiton. I think this is this real. is true because I mean, Lord of the Rings, you know, it's old. I mean, it's that many thousands of years old. And the type of person that would be into Lord of the Rings, like before the movies, is like they really they're they're real. They're real fans, and they Not like to work enough with to build some concrete visages and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, it was real, and it was shut down in 2009. Oh. And you can still see that there's, oh, there's a there's a Gandalf statue. It kind of looks like a very sad abandoned putt-putt place, you know? Well, the reason that it doesn't work, actually, ironically, is because of the movies, right? Before we saw Peter Jackson's sort of imagined mm -hmm. Hobbiton with the way the houses were, you might think, oh, it could have looked something like this, like a cave, but then he does it in a very particular way, and now this Hobbiton won't work. Well, back then there was an animated version that was more vintage. But that, oh, I don't think that was and, in the 70s, though. Yeah. I think it may have been the early 80s. And there was a, but there was a lot of, I mean, there was a lot of artwork that then they based the movies off of. So, like, mm, that's true. It, so, this is just, did you I, watch that? This at just school? sucked. I, I watched that as a kid. Did I watch it at home or at I school? Ne I never watched it, no. I watched the, the Hobbit. I remember just thinking that was the best thing ever. One for one. Credit to Brenna for those photos. Yeah, Brenna. <laughs> Thank you, Brenna. The one and only. She's, she is the Madonna of photography. Uh, the world's largest tow ring in, of course, Portland. Tow in ring? Tow ring. What would this, what would this look like? And it's been abandoned. In 2011, so there's no toe in it. a giant sculpture of a human foot was erected in downtown Portland. The foot was made to only have the middle toe pointed upwards with a large toe ring wrapped around it. Some found it offensive, but most just found it confusing, so it wasn't long before it was removed and abandoned in the nearby woods. So the whole thing with the toe and the ring? Or just the ring was removed and thrown in the woods? I believe the whole thing. Like the it was removed from where it was in downtown Portland. And so, put in the woods? So it wasn't abandoned, it was trashed. I well say listen, we need abandoned. to use loose definitions here. This what feels, episode is this? I don't know. There's a lot of holes in this. Are they gonna show us a picture of like a foot in the woods? 
This is a lie. I thought this was a good fake out, but apparently not. It didn't get us. Apparently not. We're so sly. Land of Oz in Beach Mountain, North Carolina. Oh, been there. Have you? Skiing. Oh, to Beach Mountain. Land of Oz was a Wizard of Oz theme park that opened in 1970. It was a roaring success in the first year or so, but the novelty soon wore off and the park began to lose money. In December 1975, the Emerald City section of the park burned down. Rumor has it that disgruntled former employees were responsible. Many artifacts were destroyed, including Dorothy's original dress worn by Judy Garland in the no movie. No way. Was it Dorothy's was original it dress Beach was in Beach Mountain? Mountain? No way, but you know what? I think it's true. You think it's true? There's no way they would. I mean, Beach Mountain, that's where we would go on our like church ski trips. Are you locked in? You're locked in no matter what I say now? Are you locked in or are you going to change your answer? I'm locked in. You've this is there. real. You've I, been there? I, somebody sent me, somebody sent this to me and was like, you guys should do something. There's this Oz in North Carolina. And I was like, I don't know about this. I can't believe they, all right, is it real? Yeah, it's real. They had. Judy Garland's dress? Had a yellow brick road, yeah. So that yellow brick road, that's like a more recent picture. Like, that's still up there. Well, I guess that they, use, like, some of the stuff's still there, and they use it, like, occasionally for mm-hmm. an event, but, like, as an amusement park or as a theme park, it's just non-operational. I love stuff like this, man. And it's right there in Beach Mountain. We could just go yeah. right over there because yeah. we used to live in North Carolina, which means we could fly to North Carolina where we used to live and then travel to that. Right. And be like, hey, we're here. We used to live in this state. With David Hill. Does that give us any rights to trespass? No. I love that you're that intrigued by yellow bricks. <laughs> I, I just, I love the Pads. idea of just doing unexpected weird stuff in woods. We loved, I mean, we would, we would find like structures in the woods all the time, like, Farm structures, houses, all types of stuff, and we would go all through there. It's just like building your own little fantasy. Like second stories of buildings that were crumbling. It's like not smart, but we we left on skate. We loved it. We learned a lot. I mean, I've told you this, and I'll tell you again because I'm about to say it. Yep. One time, even when we were like older, we were like we would take walks. Like when we when we worked over there in Cary, mm-hmm. and we would leave and we'd walk around, and there was this abandoned two-story house. We went in the second story and there wasn't anything up there except a pamphlet on the ground. Yep. And we picked it up and it said, what you get with men. Yep. And I love to talk about it. Right. Yeah. Every time I get a chance, I'm talking about what you get with what men. What you get with men. And I'll tell you what you get with men. Like, wow. not a lot of clothes, yep. but but uh, quite a bit of wiener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta say, uh, after looking at the pamphlet, I wasn't interested. But I totally I agree with it. I don't, for some reason, recall this story. So, so you're not what giving... What you get with men? What do you mean, not a lot of clothes? They it were was naked. A, it, was a, it was porn. It was a porn. It was a porn Called pamphlet. What, what you, you get, get with, with men? men? Yes. It was, like was a, a pamphlet? It was like a pamphlet you're, type thing. It was like a, a little... It was like a roadside advertisement. Like a little magazine. It had multiple pages. For men. But it was like shaped like this kind of... and It was a leaflet. It was a leaflet. You could leaf through it. I think it was dropped from a plane. Oh, <laughs> wow! Were you yeah. were you already hitting that? What you get with men? That Happy was so TV. fast. That's what you get. Yeah, with that was dropped from Chase's birthday plane. They call it. You know this is gonna be a GIF. Uh, area sixty nine. <laughs> okay. Twinkle fingies. That's pretty funny. Got a real kick out I'm of that. I'm just going to go with a band don't, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, just, tell us about yeah. it, Stevie. It's tell us all about it. It's the first time he's laughed. Um, Intergalactic Erotic Art Museum. It's 10 miles outside of Area 51 in Nevada. This outdoor desert art installation featured sculptures in various stages of lovemaking, along with rocket ships resembling phalluses. After a surprising lack of public interest, the museum was shut down, though eight years later, some sculptures can still be seen in the middle of the desert today. Desert folk will put some scantily Mm -hmm. clad... Are you locked in? Because I have something to tell you. uh, I'm locked in. You been there? I really hope this exists. (laughs) We found a naked uh, lady statue out in the desert 
in out near Death Valley. Remember that? Yeah. It's well, like a it's like a thirty foot tall naked lady with a, like Legos. With a she is not uh, shorn, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but you're saying fake? I think this is fake. I was already locked real. in. I was locked in. It is fake, but it should totally be real. It could totally be real. It would do great business. I think so. I'm not just saying this because it's Stevie's birthday, but check out our podcast with Nagin. Season three is out. What, what, who are you talking to over there on uh, Best Friends Back All Right, Stevie? You never know. Some experts? Some experts, some celebrities, some just ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a grab bag full of uh, of podcast fun. All you, right. you, you, All right. is, the, that's the tag. Okay. That, that got uh, me interested. Grab bag full of podcast fun. Live episode from Mythicons over there. Catch up on seasons one and two. Best Friends Back All Right. Hmm. Holy Land, USA. You already know this one. We already know that. This is true. It's real. Yeah. Let's just see the pictures. Okay, so this is, um, where is this? It's in Connecticut, which seems odd. Yeah. So it's Jerusalem. Um, What is the scale of this? What's the other one say? It opened in the 50s and stayed in business for 35 years. Okay, so the scale is like, what, like quarter size? Like, it's... It's really hard to tell how big that is. Um, well, it has a 56-foot yeah. steel cross that can be seen for miles. Mm. Yeah. But that probably, you don't have that in I bet you in, you can in, walk through that. Sure. So I, it might be, I mean, the one on the, the picture on the right kind of tells you that this is all like in miniature. Which kind of makes it cooler. Yeah, it does. It makes it a lot cooler. But it's abandoned now. When was it abandoned? Like 85-ish, because it said open in the 50s, stay in business for 35 years. I would love to it stumble says, upon um, this. This would be cool. They tried to open the park again in 2014, but it's still not open. Oh, okay. There's a lot of little fa- things like this that in the couple of road trips that I've taken in the past couple of years, you know, you go on Atlas Obscura and you try to find places to stop. I got to say that... Hit or miss. It's, it's, yeah, it's almost all, very, very often a disappointment. You know, there's like a little, a little miniature little town in North Carolina. Like, in as you're coming down from, like, we stopped in Virginia, and then we kind of came down, and like you cross over the border, and there's like this little town. It's like it's on Atlas Obscura, and it looks kind of cool. And you get there, and you're kind of like in somebody's yard, and like it's just like there's a bunch of little houses, and you're kind of like, okay, let's go. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I don't. This looks. So you're not recommending. Atlas Obscura, it sounds like. No, I'm just saying some stuff is cool, but most of the time you get to something that's really cool, they're like, "Oh, you can't go. You can't go there. It's closed to the public." Oh, you know, like Area 69, closed. Like, to the like going in like abandoned farm silos. Always wanted to do that. Oh, we used to do that. The silos over next to the one, they kept them at the Keith Hills uh, golf course. They kept those. Oh, they're still there. They like, kept the silos up. Stone. Cats Nike missile site in Richmond, California. Stone Cats. Stone Cats Nike <laughs> missile site okay. was originally an anti aircraft missile launch pad used during the Cold War. An anti-aircraft missile launch pad, okay. Yeah. But today, the abandoned site is home to several stone cat sculptures placed there by a mysterious artist. The equipment and structures were torn down and removed long ago. All that remains are the mysterious stone cats. Um, And I don't know the Nike part. Yeah. Nike missile site, okay. Well, there's lots of those. There's some near here. here. Yeah. What, What does that mean? Do you Anti the, aircraft the missile I know it's not like a launch sponsored pad. <laughs> no, it, it's, it means something else. When did when did the shoe start? The shoe started in the uh, like late sixties, early seventies, I think. Oh, okay, well, the Nike missiles themselves a, um, are called Nike. It's a goddess. It's a goddess, right, or a god or something? Yeah. That that. Oh, you're talking about a goddess? I missed that. I was talking about Nike, a missile. The name came from like a Greek goddess, right? Yeah. So, but like, I so guess independently it's just, it's of the shoes, they that, named that the uh, a, a, as a Nike missile. I think this is, is true just because I know of abandoned Nike missile sites already. That part's yeah. always true. There, when I when I used to live uh, in Encino, you could go, up, you could, I we went mountain biking up there, on the like Mulholland, goes on the ridge of Hollywood Hills, but then it keeps going, 
Mm, I guess that's north. It might be west, northwest. And it's like it turns into a dirt road, and you can mountain bike on it. And there's a there's a old missile site, like a platform and stuff. And it's a Nike missile site. And they had them all up there, where they're like, it was like, um, you know, national defense. You but see I, any cats? So I didn't see any cats at that one, and I would frequent that one. And it was uh, you could you could like it was again. It's one of those things I like to do. It's like once I found this thing, we're like we walked all up around it, and there's like ladders that go down into stuff, but then there's like locks over it so you can look down into these ladders and all this like bunkers underground. Any naked ladies drawn no on anything? No naked ladies drawn on anything. And you could go up Bummer. into the tower and like look for coyotes and whatnot. Coyote. Yeah, it's real. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's real. But right. the cats. That's the real. cats is the, uh, Whoa. what somebody added. Man, I, I'm just a renegade artist just making stuff on putting I mean, in places. I mean, to me, it's just three cats though. <laughs> like that an abandoned site makes. It's pretty cool. Three cats? I'd like to put some stone cats in the woods. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave my route to see this. Yeah, right. I understand that. Well, let's hear another one. The cheese theme park in South Korea, the M so I'm so cheese theme park opened in 2004 and was a cheese heaven where one could learn about make and eat cheese to their heart's desire. Visitors could also ride down a slide past some goats in the cheese playland and stroll the walkways uh, checking out the cheese wheel buildings and various cartoon statues. Mm, I don't believe this is real. Mm, South Korea. I just don't think it's real. I don't think cheese is beloved enough I know. Well, in South Korea. I think Christy would have to told me. For there to be a, a museum. She, she's obsessed with cheese. She, you know about all the cheese museums through your wife? Yeah, and she hadn't told me about that one. Okay. How many have she told you about? Mm, at least. Don't put me on the spotlight. <laughs> this is a trick question. It's real, but it's not abandoned. That's right. The cheese is holding it down, and you yes. can go to the cheese theme park. Wow, look at that. Wow. Imsil Cheese Theme Park. And look at that map. Wow. That's just a map to just cheese. The, just the places you can walk. Happy birthday, Stevie. Thank I hope you. you enjoyed your trip to the cockpit, because, again, that was our gift to you. Right, that's it. That was all we're going to give you for your birthday. Catch the video on demand of our stage show, Rhett and Link Live at Mythicon, before sales close on Sunday, November 6th. Get tickets at rhettandlinklive.com.